an engagement for 2024 so it's not surprising to me for you know we did a complete tour last year um all up and down east coast and like alicia said you know and thank god for confirmation because we're going international this year i uh, will also be speaking in jamaica and yeah. uh, we got some west coast areas that we are definitely going to be in um this year man but it was just one of those things i i, I don't know what i got but it just keep you know doing what it's doing so i asked to be able to come come up because i'm not one of those people that like to cancel you know what I'm saying? And I know when people are planning things, it's hard enough to try to plan stuff and then to have people backing out at the last minute. That just, that frustrates me, and I don't like to put that on anybody else. And I'm letting y'all know that so when y'all see, y'all know me, they see me walking all in the crowd and whatnot, and I'm going to try to stay right up in here, and that's the reason why, right? Because whatever I got, I don't want to give it to nobody, so I'm going to sit right on over here, all right? One of the things that I, I do want to say for women entrepreneurs and stepping out into the world and, and, and just life period right because I you know I'm, I'm one of those motivational speakers that don't really just simply focus on jobs right I focus on life how can I become better in my life and while I say that it's because if you want to become better in any other area in your life you have to become a better you that's right the moment that you actually start to work on yourself and your development, right? Being more conscious of the person that you are, showing up differently in your life and becoming self-aware of you and how you maneuver all throughout life, that right there alone will change the way that you deal with other people. And in return will also change the way that other people deal with you, right? Because once you start establishing boundaries, you're gonna find out who's really for you and who's not. Hello. Right? Let's be real. Right? Now, y'all know I can't walk out there, so y'all got to talk back. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you have, you have to understand that good boundaries are going to come with some good vibes. It's going to be some folk that's not going to be able to accept the new you. They're not going to be accepting, be able to accept the fact that now, you know what I'm saying, they don't have that same type of access to you because you, now your mind is focused on what it is that you need to be doing in your own life. Because if we're going to be honest, we have to be honest enough to say that people are not concerned about you. They're concerned about how can you come through for me. Mm. Right? So one of the first things that you have to focus on when you're operating in your life, not just in your job, not just in your brand, is how can I become a better me? Right? Yeah. And one of the main reasons why we don't be able to launch that brand, start that business, or live up to our fullest potential is why? Because we're easily distracted. Mm -hmm. Right? Come Everyday on. distractions, let's, let's be real. Right. We, we, why do why you say that, coach? Because everybody else's emergency becomes our emergency. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, such and such got this going on, that going on, and you automatically feel mm -hmm. obligated to be the one to rush in and save the day mm -hmm. because you think that you're the savior. You think you're the healer. You think that you're the fixer. And a lot of times right now, especially if you're on social media, they made it extremely trendy, right? Oh, I'm a fixer. I'm a healer. That's why I'm always fixing people. The devil is alive. That's Jesus' job. Amen. Right? Amen. I, 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 I got to let Jesus do his job, right? That's, that's, that's his job. I can give you, right, the tools and the techniques. I can give you different ways where you can do different things in your life. But one thing that I cannot do is give you me. I can't sacrifice me for you. I cannot. That, that, I, that's just. Right. So you was with me? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Some, I, I understand, but if that, if that be you, just say ouch. And then don't, don't ouch. Ouch. Just say ouch. Ouch. Yeah. Because a lot of us, if we was going to be open and we were going to be honest about the fact, we're not living in the area of our life that we know for a fact that we could be living in had we been focused on ourselves. Right. But because we've been so focused on everybody else mm -hmm. and what they got going on and trying to help sister so-and-so and, -so and trying to be there for brother so-and-so. Mm -hmm. And you know what we did? We done made everybody's trauma our responsibility to fix. Ooh. Oh, well, they can't love me the way that I love them because they mama ain't hold them. They daddy wasn't in their life. So here you are trying to overplay your part, hmm. overspend your finances, hmm. overplay your role, and some of y'all playing dual roles. Ooh, come on now. Right? Y'all got more roles than Eddie Murphy had than coming to a mirror. <laughs> And then you're wondering why you're so tired. Mm, right. Why you're so frustrated, why you feel so drained in life. Because you're constantly being the person that pour into other people, but then you're not letting, can't nobody pour back into you because wow. they don't have it. Mm. Right. So you're pouring and pouring and pouring into cups that have holes in the bottom. Mm. 
2024, if you can't reciprocate, you can't participate. Right. Right. Yeah. That right? right? And that's in every area of my life. That's a friendship, a family ship, a job ship, a church ship, whatever ship that we're on. If you Google ship, shipping is what? Shipping something from one place to another. So if the ship ain't shipping, it's time to aboard that mission. We're not going anywhere. It's time to get up out of there. You cannot afford to be distracted in the season that we're in right now. You can't afford to run after everybody. You can't afford to be out here begging people to get on board. You have to say, hey, that's above me. Right. Mm -hmm. I gave you all that I could get. Now that's above me because I can't continue to sacrifice myself and have to settle for less just so that I don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. True, true. Right. 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 We settle for less because we look at it and we say, if I don't settle for this, then I won't have nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Not realizing that settling is suffering. Mm -hmm. In every area of your life, if you settle, you're going to suffer. Mm -hmm. And suffering is going to make you bitter. Mm -hmm. It's going to make your heart hard. If you got to understand that Ain't nothing off limits to you. Nothing. He said, press down, shaking together, and running over. Ooh, child. That's what he said. So if we get in this shake, press down, shaking together, and running over, why do you keep settling for less than God's best? Mm. Why do you keep just accepting a piece of a man or a piece of a woman or a sometimey type of relationship or friendship? Oh, well, I need them. Well, he also said, I'll supply all your needs. Oh, mm. Right. Right? That's what he said. I'll supply all your needs, which means if they're walking away, that's not something that you need. Right. Fact. If the job is laying off, that's not something that you need. Mm -hmm. But we're so locked in and we think that that's what we need because that's what we're used to. We're used to looking at that job as the source. The job is not the source. Understand that. Mm -hmm. Just the same way you got that one, you will get another one. And another one, and another one. But we get used to being everything and showing up for everybody that we feel like, I need that in order for me to survive. So you sit and you dedicate 20 and 30 years of your life to somebody and walk in one day and they decide, hey, we know your service is no longer needed. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we're gonna weep somebody buying out the company. And there you go, running back to Old Faithful. God, if you could just do it for me. <laughs> oh, if you could just do it this one more time for me, right? Instead of aligning yourself with the will from the very beginning. Wherever you go, whatever it is that you want me to do, that's what I'm going to do. And as you start out your business and your brand and you're living your life, what you got to do, coach? One, what I just told you, you, you can't afford to be over there focusing on other people. Their emergency does not constitute an emergency for you. Understand that you have to keep your eyes on your own paper, which is your own life. You got to be locked in with yourself. You got to make a decision. Are you with you or not? Mm. Right? Second part of that is you gotta also, you gotta accept the reality that if I start establishing boundaries in my life and I, I implement the fact that if you can't reciprocate, you can't participate, that I gotta be willing to watch some of the people that I love more than anything and some of the people that I thought was the best thing that ever happened to me, I gotta watch some of those people walk out the door. Woo! Because see, some folk are only gonna love you as much as they can use you. Woo! And as long as you're able to give to them, then they love you. Everybody loves you when you're giving. Everybody loves you when you're doing. Everybody loves you when you're the first person to call and you're the go-to person. Everybody loves you. Start saying no. That's when you will know the real them. Start saying I can't come through. That's when the real them is going to be exposed. Some of y'all think, oh yeah, well we locked in like that. No baby, you a service provider. Right. You provide a service that they need. Ooh. If you cut off the service, they will no longer need you. Right. Mm. That's been real. So what are you telling me? You have to accept your reality. Right. You got some folks that are in your life that are not a part of your assignment, but they are attachments. They are leeches. 
People that are assigned to you will come into your life, and when they come, they come bearing fruit. They come, and they ready to pour into you. They ready to reciprocate. You ain't got to beg them. You ain't got to run after them. You ain't got to do none of that. They in your life, and guess what they do? They will study you to serve you versus your attachment that will study you to manipulate you through your emotions. Right. Some people are controlling you right now by your triggers. They learn everything that you, all your insecurities, everything about you just so that soon as y'all get into it, the first thing they're going to do is bring that up. Why? Because if I say that, you will get quiet. If I bring that up, that's how I win the argument. So what are you telling me? Identify your triggers. Get open. Get real with yourself. Why does this make me feel this type of way? Why does this trigger this type of emotion? So that you can create a healthier response in your life. If you want a better life, fix you. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, the enemy has no problem with keeping you stuck in that state of confusion. Where you feel like you need them, right? Everything that I said was talking about the need of other people. Why you harp so much on the need of other people? Why you have to expose the need of people? Because most of our downfall is because of the fact that most of us are codependent on other people. We've been taught that everybody needs somebody, which is true. Everybody needs somebody, but you need the right somebody. Right, right, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You can't just settle for somebody. You have to have the right type of somebody. You have to have that individual that's ready to, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right, I'm that whatever type of, how we gonna do it? How we going in here, we going in together, and what, what we gonna do, you know, action free. Mm -hmm. That's me. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Don't call me when you don't know what you gonna do just yet. <laughs> call me when everything, the U-Haul is together, right. and we back boxes. <laughs> and we, yeah, I'm action free. <laughs> I'm action free, right? <laughs> Because I, I can't, I, it's something about being, you know, 2024 and, and developing that mentality where you got to be passionately pursuing your purpose. It's like, I'm so locked in with my purpose right now. Don't call me for no foolishness. Right. If you don't know what you're going to do just yet, don't call me. Call your other friend. Mm -hmm. Because that pity party, I can't do. Ooh, right? And I'm not trying to have that same conversation about you with man man if you know that you ain't about to leave man man. Oh. You and Von Quisha have been going at it for a whole two, three years straight. Break up, get back together. Break up, get back together. And then you want to rope me in it. Now I'm over here trying to help you. And now what? I'm helping you and neglecting me. Right, right. We can't afford to operate that way. We can't afford to operate in that capacity. We in a place right now where you have to let go of that codependency spirit and understand that you are more than enough all by yourself. Amen. Might take me a little bit longer, but I got it. I might have to put in a little more work, but I got it. And a lot of times we don't do what we need to do because we would much rather do what's convenient versus what's right. Because if I do what's right, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little bit more out of me. If I do what's right, I might have to, you know, I might have to read a little bit more. I might have to fast a little bit more. I might have to really get into some seminars, some webinars. I might have to really, you know what I'm saying? I, I might have to really get. So what we'll do is we'll rather go with convenient. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that when you try, it's no shortcuts in this thing called life. Right. You can't, it ain't no shortcuts. You can't bamboozle it. You can't hoodwink it. You can't cut no corners with it. None of that. I want you to, I mean, I'm just giving you free game for 2024. If you gonna lock in with yourself and your business and your brand and you say that, you know what, I'm about to get out here and get it, it's gonna require you to have a level of discipline that you've never had before. It's gonna cause you to show up in a way that you've never shown up before. You're gonna have to have tunnel vision about your life. No matter how much I love you, guess what? I will leave you if you're standing in the middle of me and my next move. That's how committed that you have to be about your life. You gotta be locked in with you so much that you tell even your grown children, look, I love you, but I'll give you back to God, baby. That's right, I love you. I did what I could do. God is in your hand right now. Why? Because I'm gonna live. Right. And I'm gonna live without being distracted. Why I threw in children? Because some of us, they'll be our maids. Some of that's for mothers. Yeah, we, all, we got our pink on, right. so I had to talk about the mothers right. real quick. Cause some of y'all, that's y'all distraction right there, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that's my baby. That's my baby. And I got, yeah. 
Don't nobody know how to manipulate you like your child. <laughs> Have you, for real, have you over there going through everything, know how to make you feel like you wasn't a good mother, right. you wasn't there, you ain't do this and you ain't do that, and here you is crying and going on and on, doggone well, you did the best that you could do right. with what you had. Okay. Better start letting them know that right up front. And the next thing is this right here. The only, and the reason why I don't want you to be focusing on being codependent is also this right here because you can't afford to miss your next opportunity. Sure enough. 2024, when it opened, you better be ready. Full-blown savage mode. Mm -hmm. She's a runner. She's a track star. Okay. <laughs> yeah. When that door opened, you better be ready to take off. Want me to tell you why? Because there's definitely some folks around you that's ready to make that move. Right. It's some folk around you that are, are, are just as hungry. So you can get up there to that light, right? You can get up there to that light. Let's, let's, let's just act like we're at a red light. When you at a light and the light's red and you the front car and there's a car behind you, right? And you start sliding up some because you know the light about to turn. So you sliding up. What that car doing that's behind you? Come on, talk to me now. <laughs> that car that's behind you is sliding up right along behind you close to you. Why? Because they don't want to miss their moment. Just like you want to turn, they want to turn. In your life, you got to understand that you cannot afford to miss your moment by being distracted. We'll be at a light and be on the phone. And the light then turned and what you hear? Uh-uh. No! You got to make us miss our moment. In this season, you got to be locked in. You got to be focused. You owe this to yourself. There's nobody stopping you from being great. There's nobody stopping you from living up to your fullest potential. It's how bad do you want it? Do you want it enough to take some losses? That's right. Oh, yeah. Do you want it bad enough to lock in? Do you want it bad enough to deal with the inconvenience, the frustration and agitation? Because everything, every time you get a breakthrough, every time you get a miracle, every time you, oh, it's always some struggle. True. True. It's always some struggle. You tell me one story. Y'all know I'm, not, I'm, 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 I'm faith based, so I'm always talking about Jesus. So let's just get that Amen. out there. Yeah. Every story that we go to, right? Before there was a miracle, that was a struggle. Yeah. Before there was a healing, that was a struggle. Before anybody received any type of deliverance. That was a struggle. It was. And you crying about you been starting your business for three years and you got a woman with an issue of blood, blood for 12. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's be real. You got folk that's been struggling trying to keep their head above water for a year and you cry. What? No matter what it is that you do in life, you got to get ready for that preparational stage. Understand that. That stage of life where don't nothing make sense. This don't even make sense to me. Don't know why I'm doing it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Don't know why, I, I, but I got to do it anyway. You got to show up for yourself and you got to do it even on days when you don't feel like I don't feel like it. You got to do what? Navigate through the pain. Give me, a, my prayer coming in here was give me enough strength to make it through this Amen. because wouldn't the enemy love to say her first her first event she had to walk out on mm -hmm. oh you have to give me back me I gotta get, I'm gonna speak Amen. <laughs> I was determined <laughs> I'm gonna speak we appreciate yeah. right, right. <laughs> That's the fact. you can't afford to miss your opportunity because you better know it's always somebody that need just that one word right that piece of confirmation, I needed to hear that because that's what I'm struggling with. I, I, I know that I got a love for people. It's okay for you to love people, but you have to have emotional intelligence. What is emotional intelligence? Emotional intelligence is being able to manage your emotions and also be aware of the emotions of the people that surround you, which means I can be aware of your trauma, but I don't have to accept it. I can be aware of what you're going through, but I don't have to come over there and cater to that. That's right, I'm holding you responsible for your healing, just like I'm responsible for mine. And if you haven't taken care of your demons, if you haven't taken care of your generational curses, if you haven't handled your adult business, then you are not dateable. Mm -hmm. 
Can I date him? Mm, my lord. Mm. One hill section. Cause that's not my that's not my job to take on your trauma and a lot of us don't get to where we need to go because that's what we feel like we're obligated to do I gotta create a plan for my life exactly. creating that plan in January I'm establishing my goals I'm creating my boundaries but my boundaries creating a boundary is one thing but a boundary without a consequence, right. it's just an idle threat. Mm -hmm. right. You just saying what you gonna do. Mm. And every time you drop the boundary, they step over that and you just draw none. And they step over that and they just draw none. <laughs> when you say that if you disrespect me, you lose access to me, you gotta stand on that. When you say, I'm not gonna tolerate this, this, and this, you gotta stand on that. Because the moment that you, trust me when I tell you that the enemy is watching, and they're gonna see, they're watching to see if you're gonna respect your own boundaries. Just so, because they're waiting on that aha moment, I'ma see if you mean what you said. You said this, this, and this, and I'ma hold you accountable for it. And the moment that you don't do it, it's the moment that they're gonna throw it right there in your face. You said you was gonna do this, I knew you weren't gonna do it, I knew you ain't had it in you. Oh, because people watching. All December long, we had to kill posts, the trendy posts. Everybody had a new this and a new that. Right. We three weeks in, and I'm already seeing my timeline change up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How are you still crying about the same thing you supposed to have left in December? Right. There's no growth in comfortability. You got to be a risk taker. You got to be willing to step out and do something different so that you can get something different. What you look like putting yellow cake mix in a bowl and thinking chocolate gonna jump out? That ain't how it work. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have to switch something up, right? Right. All right. Well, that's all I had for the day, y'all. I had to push, but I had to push. Thank you. 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 Thank you.